morning folks. Today we're at St Ives, it's December and I've managed to find a free parking space so I'm quite happy about that because it's rare in St Ives. So I'm going to take you down the name of this road which I'll put on the screen because I forgot to look at what it was called. And at the end of this road you can get a great view of Godrevi Island in the distance with the island of St Ives with its little chapel on the top in the foreground. You need a long lens for this so I'm going to be shooting at about 400 mil I think so Let's go down and see if we can get it. Just so that you can see where I'm shooting from. This is the end of the road which I'm going to put on the screen. And there is the fabulous view. So you can see the shot I got lined up. And I've got a 400mm lens on with APS-C mode. So it's probably equivalent to about 500 and something mil. So you need a pretty long lens to get this shot, but it's looking good today because the light's coming from the right hand side. And it's quite shaky, so I'm going to put the ISO up to ISO 200 just to give me, myself double the shutter speed. Because it is such an extreme focal length, it's so easy to show up camera shake. I've come down to the south end of Portmere Beach and there's quite a rarity going on, in other words, no people on the beach, but then again it is December. The waves are looking good, they really add something to the image. So I've switched back to my 20 to 70 mil lens and, and now I've zoomed in and there are a few people on the beach. So that shut me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, really needs some cloud, I believe, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I wasn't best pleased with that shot, so I've come down onto the beach now. I'm just trying to find a foreground. It's not easy because there aren't any sand patterns on Portsmere Beach. Just the waves at the moment, and maybe a bit of a reflection of the island. Well, I might take one anyway because sometimes they look better than you think when you get back home. Well, I wasn't too pleased with those shots, so I've moved on now. I'm on Port Gwydden Beach. The wind's got up a bit, it's blinking cold. Feeling a bit sorry for my microphone, so I put its fluffy hat on. There's the island. The island is a great place to get dawn pictures in summer because the sun rises above Good Reedy Lighthouse in the distance. Good Reedy Lighthouse is the main focal point on this beach, but it's quite a long way off, so you have to find a good foreground. Yeah, I couldn't find a decent foreground there today, so here's one I made earlier. So now I've come down to, oh no, I've forgotten the name of this one. This is another beach, listen to the lovely pounding waves. I'll put the name of it on the screen. <laughs> uh, I think St Ives has got five beaches. Here I am with my hat, scarf, gloves on and someone's going for a swim. <laughs> Yeah, I'm struggling to find a composition down here. So, I mean, the waves are great, but I just need always like a nice focal point. So we'll move on to the town beach, which is always good for a, a shot or two. Well, I didn't manage to get any good shots there, but few was I lucky, because I came away from that beach. <laughs> I'd forgotten to 
pick up my video camera. So uh, I came onto the town beach, also known as Harbour Sands, which is where I am now. So I had to go all the way back. Luckily, there was only one person there, and that was the swimmer who you probably saw in that video. So it was still there, luckily. Otherwise, that could have been the end of my photo guides. So I've got a shot lined up. These two boats with the town in the background. It's not very exciting, the tide's out, but this is the kind of shot I'm lucky enough to be able to sell to calendars. how these turnstones have become tame. They're hanging around me thinking I'm going to get some food out of my bag. Sorry, all there is in there are a camera and a couple of lenses. Well, Town Beach was a lot better than I thought. I'm actually finding a new foreground which is excellent. So I'm just going down now to Portminster Beach which is a really good beach popular with families. It's rare to see it so quiet. It's absolutely packed in the summer. And one of my favourite foregrounds is here, these palm trees. So I've put a few shots on that I've taken previously because they're looking a bit too black and shadowy today. the beach with hail in the distance. So let's see if I can walk up these steps gently enough not to give you all a headache. So at the top of here there's a pretty good view of the town. It's no good taking pictures here right now because the sun's right behind me so absolutely not my favourite time. But come back later in the day or at night get some great pictures from here I'll show you some of my library images. Barbara Hepworth sculpture. It's worth seeing her museum if you like sculpture because it's fabulous. It's a shame that this wonderful palm got damaged in a recent storm. One of my best selling pictures was taken here. This is the bus depot. It's another good place to take a shot from. You have to ask permission, but I'll show you the view because it's pretty special. Before I show you some of my best St Ives images, I'd like to ask for a like, a comment or a subscribe, which will help me to build this channel and make it even better for you. So I have lots of great ideas like many places in Cornwall to show you. I've got over 40 years photography experience and I'm also thinking of doing competitions in the future so that you could win a signed book or a print made on my fabulous Canon printer or a workshop with me in Cornwall. So please consider subscribing. Thanks. Bet they won't. <laughs>